Hi friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prepared this uh, lotus stem or the lotus root stir fry. I purchased this lotus root because now it's rainy season and it's uh, easily available in the market. Now what I've done is I've used a potato peeler, peeled the lotus stem and I've uh, chopped it into coins, thin coins. Because this takes a longer period of time to cook and it is very tough to clean it. So that's the reason I cut it like this and I rinsed it twice in the water. If you are chopping your lotus stem like this, allow it to soak for 2 to 3 minutes in the water each rinse and then rinse it out. I placed a pot of water, allowed it to boil on medium flame, I've added a teaspoon of salt and then added the lotus root to this. I kept stirring this and I kept cooking it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I've strained the lotus root and allowed it to sit in the sieve itself. Uh, for the excess water to drain out now once the water or the moisture has drained out completely i placed a wok with oil i'm going to fry this deep fry this so i've taken a handful of this lotus root and i've dropped it gently in the hot oil and i'm going to be frying this on medium flame till it turns light golden brown in color once the lotus roots have turned light golden brown in color i've strained it from the oil and reserved it next i've placed a fry pan on medium flame and once the fry pan has heated up well, I've added coconut oil. I've allowed the coconut oil to heat up well. Then I've added fennel seeds, allowed it to splutter. Next, I'm going to be adding shallots. I've added uh, garlic, slit green chilies and curry leaves. Fried all of this. Then I'm going to be adding some asafoetida, ginger and garlic paste. So I'll fry all of this till the onion turns transparent and till the garlic cooks well. Now once I get a good aroma, that's when I'm going to be transferring the lotus root. I'm going to be stir frying this. Next I'll be adding some chili flakes as per taste. Now lotus root is a very good substitute for potato. So this stir fry can be served as a starter or it can be served as a side dish for rasam rice. This is a good substitute as I told you for potato. Do try this recipe friends and post your comments. This is a very healthy and tasty recipe. It's nice and fibrous. So try this recipe and post your comments friends. Until next time this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.